Okay, hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome back to Crimson Court, blah blah blah, etc, etc, hooray. Uh, I changed the audio settings, so now it's la the game is louder, and Wayne June is very quiet. Which is good, because he just wouldn't shut up. Uh, so yeah, this will be probably the, hopefully, the last mission we do before going back and beating the courtyard. Still have no Warren's missions, for some reason. But yes, uh, I'm going to be bringing out... Gray and Reynolds. Vengeance Dyer. Also, there are new party composition names for if you are using the flagellant. Uh, I don't know many of them, though. I named one of them myself, because I'm allowed to. Well, I was allowed to. Let's use the Worry Stone again, I guess. Crusader doesn't need speed. I want to give someone else the protection, though. Heavy boots on the... Grave robber. She won't outspeed anything then. But, okay, I guess I'll just give him the Vestal. Going last isn't the worst thing in the world for the Vestal. Bleed amulet. Do you use any bleed skills? Yeah, you're using if it bleeds. Um, I could give her the quick draw charm. Yeah, sure, why not? She may get some crits. Extra accuracy range skills as well. You don't really need anything. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a dodge stone, I guess. It may help prevent some damage. And the rest of these are useless. Excellent. Hopefully we get some good trinkets eventually. I mean, the warrior's cap isn't that bad of a starting trinket, but of course it is. it doesn't hold a candle to pretty much anything else. I don't even need three shovels. I'll just need to take, like, one, one key, six torches, and two holy water. Actually, nah, I already have one Holy War, so I'll bring one extra. So yes, technically in the end, it will be two. Tell me if the audio is not balanced properly, and her Annie complains about it even if he doesn't say that it's been balanced. I, I changed the audio, and he doesn't say, oh, it's better, or, or it's worse, or etc, etc. Probably can't even hear Wayne now, but I don't really care, because he's just being annoying and say soothed, sedated, every single match. I forgot to change her skills up. God damn it. You could tell because I never run poison darts. Nice. I mean, I can hear Wayne a bit, but I don't know if you can. Depends on how balanced the audio is. I might turn him up a little bit. Seven, hooray. Let's get some free torchlight in. We probably won't outspeed the skeleton because we're all slow as crap now. Yeah, four speed on the Grey Robber. Okay, I'll turn him up a little bit. Audio. Twenty, yeah, that should be good. And here we go. Still radiant light, which is good. Because I get the extra potential scouting chance, even though it didn't even work. Oh, great. I, d I didn't even need to use the thing. Okay, who has the most blight resist? Hellion. Excellent. Your experiments don't yield any fighting. Probably because you smashed the bloody beaker containing the yellow liquid of piss. I don't know. How come it always goes to a fight when the light turns to dim? Seriously. Okay, can we kill you? No, we cannot. Right through my kill. Uh, that does 3 to 7, and it missed. Piss. Perfect. I totally planned for that to happen. What are you talking about? Great, we get the nightly aura or the scouting buff permanent thing in the ruins. Yeah, this just shows how powerful uh, crit trinkets are at the start of the game. Of course, the Vestal cannot hit anything. The Vestals never hit anything. What am I expecting? There we go. 
party isn't that bad. We have range damage at least. Kind of don't want to kill him right now. I want to get a heal off. Six. That won't kill, so I'll just do it. Just do it! Four. Ugh. It's nothing. I need to cure some of this stress. I mean, the less people that I need to put in stress healing, the better. Okay, considering Reynold is taking a bit of a beating, I'll give him the buff. There we go, now he's nigh untouchable. Why do you have... Oh yeah, it's the debuff from Breakthrough. There we go, 23 dodge. So yeah, Reynold and the Hellion do have level 2 gear. Is it level 2 gear or is it level 1 gear? Because they might start off at level 0. You know what, that's kind of one of the things confusing. Like, you say level 1 units, but they're technically the level 0 units. Some people consider these level 1, then these level 2. Eventually you get up to level 7. Mother Ocean, I know what you're talking about. You've become the Pelagic Groupers. You know, I bet some people are actually sick of me making fun of the Pelagic Groupers. But I'll give you a, a spoilerino. It's not going to end anytime soon until they balance the Pelagic Groupers, which probably won't ever happen. I mean, granted, most people are complaining about the sycophants now. The sycophants from the, uh, courtyard, that is. 5 to 10. You won't kill unless you crit, and your crit is better spent on here because Reynolds can kill this guy. Because I can tell he, she wouldn't have just hit a 10 naturally. Does it? It doesn't even reach that high, does it? Yeah, 4 to 9, so technically her max damage is 9.9, .9, so it most likely would not even hit. You need a 7 to kill him. It's much more likely to get from that. Didn't even get off. Okay, get some healings. Reynold, I know you're a slow-ass crusader, but can you go before the skeleton carrying a shield? No, you can't, because you have negative 1 speed. At least you absolutely obliterated that enemy. Could lunge and bring the Vestal forwards, but that's probably not the best idea. Yeah, quiet Wayne. At least I can mostly ignore Wayne now. Oh boy, two crit on the Crusader who didn't need it. You know what, just move you forward so you can't get hit by the Bone Man. Senor Boneman. There we go. Let's get some self-healings in. Because we don't need to heal this unit or this unit. You know what, let's use Poison Darts. We got a crit with Poison Darts. Beautiful, 15 damage. Technically, enough to kill this thing. Uh, now I can use some of those AoE heals. In before, straight up just heals everyone for one. She had two speed and she went first. That proves how slow we all are. Okay, we got a two. It's fine. And not the twos from that stupid game, Evil Twin. If you haven't been watching me for an incredible amount of time, you may not realize, but I really hate the game Evil Twin. Possibly the worst game I've ever played. And I've played Sonic 06. Okay, just spam the blight. I, I could go on and on about how bad Evil Twin is and why it's bad, but this is a Darkest Dungeon video and I don't want to bore people with this game sucks, let me explain in painful detail every single reason why this game is terrible. It's one of the only games that I've in not enjoyed playing at all. And here comes the Collector. I can tell because my luck is terrible. 
Ah, no town. No collect no collector. You know what? We probably could take down a collector, actually, so. Okay, tempting goblet. Hmm, yes, I would very much like a taste of this goblet here. Are you goblet? I know Dem is. Rend for the old gods. That doesn't mark at level one. I thought it did. Oh well. I kind of forget that. Well, because back when I played this game, I played in the early, earliest versions. Well, not the earliest versions, but one of the more early versions. Probably should have hit the guy in the, the back, but okay. And these guys did like more bleed, was it? I don't really know. They were more of a threat, I believe, though. This was back in the days where your characters did, like, they had less accuracy, so they were technically worse. This was back when the leper had a base accuracy stat on chop of 65. No one used the leper back then. I mean, he still did a lot of damage, but he was weaker back then in both accuracy, damage, and pretty much everything. Except speed. He had 9 speed at level 5. He was amazing in speed. He was like he was like the grave robber, but super powerful and strong and actually did damage. Unlike Little Miss deal 5 damage to a spider. And no, lunge was not the better choice there because it would have made the crusader not be able to do anything. I mean, she has unerring, so she has extra 10% extra damage. She shouldn't have missed that. Don't know why I bother healing you up. You're kind of dead weight. Um, free torchlight is always good. You know what game I should finish? Torchlight. When, when was the last time I played that game? I don't know. It was years ago. And, uh, poison. I have poison if you want. No, I will not quote Odin's fear. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm changing my upload schedule. It's going to be I record and upload Darkest Dungeon on weekdays, and I'll record Odin's fear and upload it on weekends. So, yeah, we're still gonna get- you're gonna still gonna get more Darkest Dungeon than Odin Sphere, but I kind of don't want to stop just recording Odin Sphere altogether. I know it doesn't get that many views, but it's, you know, I still want to record Odin Sphere. So, yeah, you'll still be getting more Darkest Dungeon on a ratio of 5 to 2, so more than double. Odin Sphere does take a bit more effort to record and render and everything. I don't even need to render these videos, I can just upload them directly after I have um, recorded them. Damn curious mofo. Get out of here. That was actually a pretty good haul right there. Like that was, how much was that? Like over a thousand, a thousand five hundred? Let's use another torch. 6 to 13. Won't kill unless it crits, so might as well just not even bother for it with it. Uh, you have not hit a single attack vessel. This is why some people think that attack vessel is viable. And this is where I say, bullshit. I remember back when. You know what? I should stop reminiscing. It doesn't help anything. I bet you're all like, we get it, Spartan. The old game was a lot different. Stop rubbing our faces in it. Although I have yet to hear anyone complain. Some people may think it's good that I'm saying this stuff because it gives insight. Yeah, never hidden, Wayne. You know, it will be hidden. Your dead body once I bury you in the ending of the game. Push on to the 
Seize the day. You know what, pitch black? No. No, I'm probably not going to go pitch black here. You never know, it could be like 13 skeleton archers. Okay, fine. You couldn't possibly have that many. We got one. Even though it's not an archer, it's an arbalist. But still, it's the same thing. Probably should have actually taken down the stress dealer first. My bad. Can you... Okay, you hit one thing. Oh wait, you, you, you hit one attack before, I forgot. A hey, nice. Perfect. Wait, why do you have 6 to 12 damage? Do you have hate of mankind? Eldritch Slayer. No. Damage is just naturally that. Oh, you have, a, you have a buff from Adrenaline Rush. I thought that would have worn off by now. Huh. It's actually pretty good. Now screw the old gods. What have the old gods done ever since Gadget Zane was out? The answer is nothing. They are completely out of the meta. They are weaker than a Jade Golem. And let's just restore some health because it'll like, decrease the chance of getting diseases or something like that. You know, that was never confirmed. It's just superstition. But it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Okay, you are dead. You know, I bet a couple of people don't even know what I'm referencing when I say you are dead. It's a reference to the song You Are Dead from Total Distortion, which I know nothing about Total Distortion, but I know that song is like the best game over theme ever. If you don't know it, look it up right now, just Total Distortion, You Are Dead. And we get the blood. Anything else we need to throw out? I think the food is worth more than the holy water when we sell it back. Didn't even need to bring any food, I brought back more than I brought. And I like how it counts out the food in individual pieces, even though it's like a stack. Well, to be fair, it does that to every other piece of treasure, too. Quick reflexes, ooh. Oh, Ruminator. Damn it. Ah. Uh, why? Why do you have to leave? Jesus. Well, I guess we're not going into the place unless the grave robber can do something, which she probably won't be able to. Well, it seems like the church is in town. The church can't move, but you get the point. Unyielding, that's not bad. Sickly, sickly is pretty bad. We'll need to take this jest to end. Barracks are full. We'll just upgrade that then. I really want right now. So yeah, uh, we need more disease resist because we need to potentially resist the Crimson Curse. Actually, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter because he'll, he has no disease resist in the first place. I think that's only useful for units that have like 30 or more. Who's hammering outside? God damn it. Uh, but Bosk. Uh, I need to give this guy a name, I'll do that off screen because I don't want to bring up Google Chrome and read through my comment section right now. This is actually pretty good for a uh, flagellant, but it's not the best. Okay, now let's get some camping skills, shall we? You need quarantine. Oh yeah, I disabled tutorials. You need to kill the disease. You... You need that. You need that. There we go. That's all we'll need for now. Oh yeah, Warren's mission, finally. The Warren's was open, wasn't it? Like, all that time. And we get some... We're getting some bloody dice for the gesture, it seems. Unless this is... No, it's a protection ring. This... This trinket sucks. Why? Not even, don't, I shouldn't even bother doing this until a good trinket appears. So yeah, we'll be getting some bloody dice in the Warrens. I'll probably bring the Jester out to the field. But yeah, see you guys in the next video.
Uh, I know this would this is a bit of a short one at 20 minutes and three seconds, but yeah, bye.